Welcome to Electron Online. The next three techniques are called the Source Transformation, the Thevenin Equivalent Circuit Technique, and the Norton Equivalent Circuit, circuit Technique. So the Source Transformation is sometimes a very handy method when we have a lot of branches and we want to be able to convert from a, a, a series branch where we have a voltage source and an impedance to a parallel branch where we have a current and the impedance. Notice that the impedance are the same, but the relationship between the current in the one instance and the voltage in the other instance can be drawn from these equations right here. That the voltage of this source right here is equal to the impedance times the current of that source, and the current of that source is equal to the voltage of this source divided by the impedance. So we're able to convert a situation that looks like this to a situation that looks like this. So these are equivalent circuits, or we can go from this to this, depending upon which will help us solve the circuit. And again, we'll show you some examples of that. The next two techniques are, are very related to one another. The Thevenin equivalent circuit is typically used when we want to remove the load resistor or the load impedance. So we have a circuit right here, we have a load impedance, and then what we do is we remove the impedance and we then calculate the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin impedance. Notice that to find the Thevenin voltage, we will remove the load impedance to find, and then we go ahead and we calculate the Thevenin voltage across that gap right there. And to find the Thevenin impedance, we replace the volts, the voltage sources by a short. With other words, we set the voltage source equal to zero, but we keep the circuit there. We keep a short circuit there. And we replace the current circuit or the current sources by an open. We simply remove the current sources and we leave the circuit open. Once we do that, we can then calculate the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance. Notice that in the case of using the Norton equivalent circuit, the Thevenin the Thevenin impedance is the same as the Norton impedance. So we use the very same me method to find the Norton impedance as we did for the Thevenin impedance. But then to get the Thevenin voltage, or in this case the, the, the Norton current I should say, what we do is we kind of use the same technique as we do over here where we have a source transformation technique where we can see that the relationship to find the current in the equivalent Norton circuit is equal to the Thevenin voltage divided by the Norton impedance, which of course is the same as the Thevenin impedance. So this is how we can then find the Norton current in the circuit, basically using a source transformation technique to do that. But notice these are the next three techniques on top of the first three techniques, six nice techniques to use to solve AC circuits, basically to do what we call AC circuit analysis, which means we're going to be able to find voltages at any node in the circuit and currents through any branch of any circuit as well. And so what you'll find is that when you try to apply these techniques to AC circuits, things become a lot more complicated because we have to, of course, work in the frequency domain instead of the time domain, and that makes things a little bit more, uh, a little bit more complicated and very easy to make mistakes. And once you make one little mistake somewhere, of course, the answers you're going to get are not going to be correct. And so we'll show you techniques of how to try and avoid making those mistakes so you can get indeed the right answers with each of these techniques. So stay tuned. We'll have lots and lots of examples for you using the six methods that we just uh, had a quick overview of for. And that's what we're going to do, trying to analyze the AC circuits.